We Fuji Moto fans are kept well fed, damn. Another one shot just came out and you literally do not have an excuse not to read it before watching this video. Because it's only 20 pages long, come on now, mosey on. Just listen to the song is a collaborative effort by Tatsuki Fujimoto and Oto Toda, who I honestly never heard of before and I can't really find shit about them online other than the fact they made a manga called To Strip the Flesh, which based on the title sounds like a manga that someone perfectly suited for collaboration with Fujimoto would make. Toda did the art for this one shot and Fujimoto did the writing, which I find really interesting considering how Fujimoto everything in it looks. You'd actually never notice he didn't draw this himself if he weren't aware of it beforehand, at least I think so. I took a quick look at Fujimoto's published works and this one seems to be his first actual manga collab. Fucking collab. Every time I say that word, I just think of like a fucking YouTube collab, come on. Just listen to the song, like I said, it's a very short manga but packs just the right amount of content into this small package. The premise is that this dude uploads a love song to YouTube as a confession to his crush. The video just so happens to contain a ghost that this dude was unaware of. And it goes completely viral. People begin to read into every detail in the video and come up with wild interpretations for the song when this dude just intended the song to be taken literally and at face value by his crush. I feel like we've seen Fujimoto deal with his rise to popularity with Look Back and maybe even fear of rejection to a degree with Goodbye Airy, but here in just listen to the song, he is like directly calling out people who read into his works too much. Basically making a statement like, it's not as deep as you think bro, or the goal might be to say, it's cool you find this stuff in what I made, but I didn't intend for that stuff to be there, so don't treat me like a genius, or something among those lines. Basically, I'd almost interpret this as like a form of imposter syndrome, but it's just like a bit off from that, if you know what I mean. I know I'm totally jumping into conclusions too by saying all this, like, wow, the new Fujimoto one-shot is a representation of the limbo between self-awareness and imposter syndrome, dude. Like, I wish I had a, a fucking whiskey bottle or like a whiskey glass, the video essay bro aesthetic would be complete with that. But I think this manga really brings out a great point that the audiences of various works probably don't think about enough, which is that authors probably don't leave as many easter eggs or hidden messages and meanings to their works as we might hope. The idea that, say, Chainsaw Man is full of subtext, hidden meaning, political takes, and by the way, I'm not saying that it can't be, but I guess just in general the idea of a story that you have to scour through every inch of to find what is actually going on is a really fucking cool idea, right? But from an author's perspective, why on earth would you do that? Because essentially what doing that will result in is 99% of readers missing the point of your story. Yes, you're not supposed to spoon feed the audience, right, that's writing 101, but you still want the audience to fucking eat, so hiding the spoon in... I don't know, the catacombs or something wouldn't make any sense. Now, obviously writers do still intentionally add things to their stories that might go over unattentive readers' heads or something, or stuff where you just need to have prior understanding about a certain topic or subject to get what, like, a line of dialogue was about. Bro, that was like the most convoluted way of saying reference. Fuck, I'm so t it's like 10 a.m. right now. <laughs> anyway, I think what I might take away from this is, uh, and I know this is like, a kind of a reach, but considering how close to the release of Chainsaw Man Part 2 this one-shot was released, I think there's a slight chance Fujimoto might want us to keep his message with this one in mind going into Chainsaw Man Part 2, like yo, it's probably not going to be as deep as you think or might expect. Either way, once Chainsaw Man Part 2 drops, I'll be sure to make more Fujimoto content, so if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you'd like for permission to use my songs and early access to videos, the Patreon link is down in the description and on the screen right now. Thank you to all my patrons and a special shout out to Crimson Nomad and Nah. Hope you have a great day and peace.